Chair Inspire podcast. This is episode 747. I'm Kristen Amdahl and we're here live in Southwest Florida in my studio. If you are joining me live today, please say hello. Let me know if you're crafting. Let me know if you have questions for me. Uh, I would love to hear from you. If you don't watch the record, if you watch the recorded version, please also feel welcome to say hello. Hi, Donna. Good morning, Grace and Judy. Trisha, good morning. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Hi, Thea and Nadine. Good morning. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Joe. Can I see it all? No. Uh, almost. Migdalia, Donna, Nanette. It's much easier with the glasses, though. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Good morning. It's harder to be on camera with the glasses, though, because the reflections of the lights in the glasses is weird. Uh, otherwise, it was much easier to do lights before glasses. Anyway, hi, Joyce and Pamela, Diane, Val. Good morning. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast, everyone. This is episode 747, and we are live in Southwest Florida in my studio this morning. If you're joining me live, please say hello. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. And if you would like to share with me and the group what you're working on, I know we all love to hear what everyone's working on. Hi, Rinna and Wendy, Debbie. Good morning. Did everyone get a chance to uh, watch the Riley Cowell tutorial video that I released this week? Hi, Terry and Rita and Bethany. Oh, Bethany's first time live, but long time viewer. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Thank you for feeling comfortable to say hello. Magdalia finished crocheting a hat. That's awesome. Hi, Gay. Good morning. I think because I'm making small projects for my newest book, I'm getting this urge to make something gigantic. I want to make a dress or like a really big tunic with long sleeves. Like I feel like doing a big project. And I don't know why. I don't, I always work in contrast, it seems, or in extremes. If I do something little, I want to do something big, big, little. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy's working on the meadow poncho. That's another good one. That is so fun to make and really easy to make actually lots of options you can do it in stripes or in one color and there's so many ways to style it and wear it susie's been crocheting a lap gown for her dad for christmas that's wonderful hi naomi yes tgif happy friday everybody hi carrie hope everybody has some fun crafty plans for this weekend Okay, the connection went out through YouTube, but it's back now. If you can hear me and see me, let me know. Uh, do I know when I'll have more of the gradient yarns available? Uh, I'll talk about that this morning, definitely. Yes, we sold out of all the gradient kits in between six and seven hours after showing them on the podcast yesterday. So thanks, everybody, for your support. That was very exciting to see <laughs> um, how much interest there was in them. And there's quite a few people on the wait list. So I'm definitely going to work really hard behind the scenes to get more kits put together. Um, they're very labor intensive and they take quite a while to make, but I will definitely uh, be working on that along with all the other goodies I'm working on behind the scenes that I can't tell you about. I'm gonna be doing some dyeing this weekend too, all sorts of good stuff. Lots of stuff coming, lots of stuff we're working on behind the scenes. Uh, uh, oh, Gay watched Murder Mystery and Makeup. Awesome. Okay, Migdalia, if you could give me more information on what a bathroom set is, I'd appreciate it. I don't know what you mean by that. Hi, Carmen. Good morning. Okay, so, yeah, so the short answer to the gradient kit question is yes, there are more kits coming. Probably going to do some other colors too. I just started with a couple of colors, but I definitely have inspiration to go in a couple of other directions as well. So um, really excited about it. I'm glad you're excited about it too, because there's no point in doing something on a larger scale if everyone's not excited about it. So I'm excited to do more as well. So you will be seeing more about it soon. I can't tell you when just yet. Um, 
but we're working on it. Uh, bathroom set is the top of the toilet and the rug. No, I haven't done a set like that. Sorry. Yes, a green gradient would be interesting. And green could go in two directions too. So, or well, green can go in lots of directions. You know, you've got your blue greens like the teals that we did, but then you've got your, um, you know, like emerald greens and forest greens and yellow greens. I wish I had a color wheel handy because I could talk about that some more because even in the purple range that I did, we could go purple in a different route too. We went more of the red violet purple route in this one. And so to do a blue violet kind of a range where we could maybe go from some silver grays through to some periwinkle and go in that route for blues would be real or purples would be pretty we didn't really touch on blues very much um so even yeah looking even looking at this back wall we didn't touch on and well we did kind of touch on pink and coral a little bit we didn't touch on yellows at all we didn't touch on red and orange and fire colors we didn't touch on cool um neutrals so like white silvers smokes and charcoals and black we didn't touch on that at all we did touch on uh, teal a little bit but on the bluer side of teal we didn't touch on the greener side of teal or on yellow greens or um, greens in general and we didn't touch on blues that much either so uh, and I also think maybe coming up with something that's a little more rainbow might be fun too I always love a good rainbow <laughs> so yeah, there's lots and lots of ways that we could have fun with this and I will definitely pay attention to the wait list to see where the interest is for redoing some colors and uh and i'm interested in doing some new colors too so we'll see where that leads in the meantime okay did everybody said did it um i'm not sure if uh everyone got a chance to watch the riley cowell video that i released this week i released it in right hand and left hand and it's that super cool technique of making the cowl with tripled baby yarn on a size 10, mil 10 millimeter hook super fast project and it shows you how to make vertical stripes in color work without changing yarn on any given round so it's a super interesting and easy to uh, learn technique. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't already seen it. I know a lot of people said that the concept was kind of tough from just reading the pattern and chart and they wanted to see it in video too. So I'm hoping that that helps everybody who has the pattern and chart that now you can see it's a lot easier than you thought, right? It's very easy for all of us to overthink things at, at times. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that yet, it is here on YouTube already. I do have a playlist started for the Be So Caring book as well. So you can, um, so as I make new videos for the patterns in the book, they'll all automatically go to that playlist as well. And you can find that here on my YouTube channel as well. Um, then the next thing I want to tell you is the shawl that I'm wearing today, the Mary Jane shawl. Um, that video is available or no, that video is done. <laughs> it's not available yet. It's going to live premiere this morning right after the podcast. So you'll be able to watch this video live with me if you want to, and you can chat along with me in the chat room while we watch together. If 10.30 a.m. Eastern time doesn't work for you, no problem. After the live premiere, it will then immediately become a recorded video on my YouTube channel so that you can watch it anytime you want. And it will also be in that playlist right after we live premiere the Mary Jane Shawl video. The left hand video will also automatically be up there as well. Thank you, Lily. I love this color. This is Be So Baby Yarn in Color White Orchid. And as you can see, I'm wearing it with coral. I love, love, love pink and coral together, as you can tell. I mean, you've seen me do this a lot. And look at these earrings that I made. These uh, earrings are made in Be So Fine Yarn. These are the Alicia Crochet Earrings. It's a three-tiered uh, tassel earring in crochet chains in colors pink dragon fruit, crushed berries, and tropical hot coral and I thought since I'm already wearing coral and pink today it might be fun to wear the earrings as well I don't know maybe it's overkill maybe it's not but I'm feeling colorful today so <laughs> sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to uh, entertain yourself right thank you Joyce I'm glad you like it I'm sure some people might think it's a lot of color but um I felt like it was exactly the amount of color I wanted 
teal and coral is pretty too, I agree. I like a whole lot of combinations of colors. Hi, Rennie, good morning. Thanks, Thea. And then I'm also wearing the uh, shawl in that technique that we talked about the other day where you could wrap it and tie it, wrap it and cinch it with a belt. But just so you can see, look at how incredibly large this is. It's 30 inches by 72 inches and it takes nine balls of Be So Baby yarn to make. In the video today, I'll show you how to do foundation single crochet and double treble crochet and double treble crochet three pieces together or three stitches together. And it's a very simple pattern to memorize. And once you memorize it, it definitely becomes a Zen project. Definitely. Uh, this is one of the patterns in my newest book, Be So Karen. We've talked about this a couple of times this week. It's available as a paperback book like this or as an ebook on my website. You can also find it in all of the Amazon markets all over the world. And the difference between this book and everything other, this is the first book that I donate 100% of the proceeds of this book are donated to Project Kristen Cares, my charity, so that we can um, distribute more Be So Helpful bags to women's shelters and people in need throughout my area and anywhere else they go. You can also order Be So Helpful bags yourself if you want to order them to give to people or you can order them or you can buy them to don for me to donate to charities as well. Funny story, I, I talked about this a little bit in a blog post that I wrote about it yesterday. I don't know if you read my blog or not, but um, I don't, I actually, okay, so seven years ago when in, I ended my last domestic violence uh, relationship that was involved with domestic violence, I actually went to abuse counseling through the state after testifying against my ex-boyfriend and getting him put in jail. Long story, I don't know if I've ever told you the whole story about it, but it was it was a doozy. And it was the first relationship that I had ever been in struggling with domestic violence, plus having a public profile. So it was the first time I had had to do that while still looking good on camera every day and pretending like everything was okay. So having a public profile and doing that was a whole different dynamic than I was used to in my younger days being in violent situations. And so it just brought its own extra set of problems and struggles for sweeping things under the rug. Anyway, uh, when the abuse counseling was offered to me, I jumped on it and I took 12 weeks of abuse counseling classes through the state in uh, Lee County, Fort Myers, right up the road when I lived in Lee County. And I learned so much during those 12 weeks of classes and learned how to recognize the red flags and recognize the different signs of when something wasn't right. I mean, especially for someone like me who had, I really had only been in violent and abusive relationships my entire life. I've never really had a healthy one. And so it was really uh, an experience for me to understand everything that I knew was wrong. <laughs> Not everything, but um, I had to kind of relearn rules and boundaries for relationships that I had never been taught my whole life. So yay me, that was very exciting. And through that experience, that's actually part of my healing process for me through that was feeling overwhelmed with, I've got to find a way to give back because I'm so grateful that I had this, not only did I get the counseling that I needed, but it worked. Like I got it. The light bulb went on over my head and I was like, what can I do to give back and help others? Because I know how horrible this is. It, this, and this wasn't my first bad relationship. It wasn't the first time I'd been through something so horrific, but I wanted it to be my last and I wanted to be able to help people in a variety of ways that go, because every situation's different, right? And even though I'd been through a handful of different situations and each one of those was different, that helped me understand that other people's situations are all gonna be completely different and have their own circumstances. But the one, the one defining thing of all of them is that feeling that you're the only one and you're alone. So 
for me, the foundation of my charity project, Kristen Cares, was to first and foremost remind everybody as much as possible that you're never alone. And through this, I've also realized that it's not just domestic violence. It's whatever crap you have on your plate at any given time. We all get so overwhelmed with our own lives. And it doesn't matter if someone has it worse than you or I mean, it does in some degree, to some degree. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're all more alike than we all are different. And we all cry in the corner sometimes. And we all feel that like we're the only one going through what we're going through. And so for me, creating that charity so that number one, I could use my platform, my the exposure to many people and be able to talk about the fact that you're not alone. And you've we, we're all in this together, right? And then... To, and then as the charity evolved, to be able to use portions of the sales of my products to donate to charity. And then we did that with Rapture at one point. And now we do that with Be So Clean. And my dream was to always put together a care package to donate, not just to donate a single product. And that's why the Be So Helpful bags are so important to me. I mean, I just remember at any given time how incredibly useful all of this stuff would have been to me in any, I mean, I've been through a variety of different things through surviving different um, abusive relationships, whether it's parents or uh, boyfriends or whatever. And at any given time, I just remember that there were times when any of these items would have been useful, like the soap and the washcloth. I'll never forget being 16 years old and taking a 40 our 40, 40 plus hour Greyhound bus ride from Detroit to Orlando and having nowhere to get clean. Imagine if I could have gotten clean in the bathroom and just cleaned myself up before meeting my girlfriend with her parents whom I'd never met who had opened their home to me because my girlfriend had told her how um, rough my life was at that time. Having a water bottle to fill up at that time. Having a notebook to write my thoughts down in. Having a chapstick and a nail file like all of these things would have just been amazing. So for me, and the bag's missing inside. I got to fix that. Last time we talked about this, I had the bag missing as, as well. Got to, oh, just go grab one right now. Instead of putting it off, just do it, right? There we go. So anyway, where was I going with all of this, you may, might be wondering. So when I took a huge box full of Be So Helpful bags to a shelter the other day, um, I realized it was the same shelter where I had gone to abuse counseling classes seven years ago. And I got to tell you, I cried all the way there. I'm going to cry again now. <laughs> It felt really exciting to come full circle like that. And so a place that helped me at one point at a very low time in my life and helped me tremendously. Um, I went back the other day with a huge box full of Be So Helpful bags. And the director there was so grateful. She goes, oh my gosh, we're so excited about you giving us these. And we know our clients are gonna be so excited to receive them. So that was very special for me. And uh, I remember just walking through, walking in the door and walking past the waiting room and seeing all the ladies waiting for their counseling appointments and wondering what brought them there. And I had a mask on, so couldn't smile that hard or that enthusiastically at them, but I did, um, but I did say hello to the ladies as I walked through. And the reason, other reason why I'm telling you this is that it's because of you that I can do this. It is through the sales from the Kristen Omdahl brand. You purchase products from me and I allocate some of those funds to help other people. So we're all in this together and you're doing your part by just supporting my brand. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because this is a group effort. I wouldn't be doing this on my own. I'm doing this because of the way you help as well. So whether you do your own donating, I mean, I know some people like to buy these and donate them to homeless people or um, different people in challenging needs in their area. And I so 
fully support that. I designed this specifically to be unisex and to help anyone in a challenging situation. So that's awesome. And if you feel like doing extra like that, thank you. And I love the fact that we can spread this even farther and wider than I can on my own. But even if you're just supporting my brand, just remember you are helping too because none of this would happen without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Wendy. I see lots of hearts going up. <laughs> so I'm glad everybody's getting a warm fuzzy today, too. Christine, I'm not comfortable going into uh, talking about my childhood at the moment, but I appreciate your concern. Oh, Pamela, and the only small business that you buy from. That's so sweet. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you. Yeah, feeling safe to talk is important too. I read that from Kimberly. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not easy to talk about uh, ugly stuff. I agree. It's very difficult to talk about ugly stuff. But we live in a very judgmental world, so I know it's difficult. And if any of you are, all, if anyone out there is needing someone to talk to, I have lots of resources on the Project Kristen Cares page. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Anyway, um, excuse me, um, the project Kristen Cares is kristenomdahl.com slash PKC, and you can find information on all sorts of, oh, I'm going to sneeze again. I got to get a Kleenex. I'll be right back. <coughs> Something with my nose. Sorry about that. I got a major tickle in my nose and I couldn't stop it. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for the God bless me's. Oh, man. Okay, Judy's got a link to the Project Kristen Cares page. So if anybody needs help or you know somebody that needs help, we have tons of resources there. And if you um, need further help than that, just let me know. But... Um, Yes, Susie, I I sneeze very loud and very strong, and there's nothing you can do about it. We all sneeze in our own ways. Marlon wishes very much that I was a quiet sneezer, but um, I've explained to him that you're given with your sneezing skills. Uh, you're born with them, and there's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm afraid that if I tried to slow down or quiet my sneezes, that my brain would explode, and I told him we don't want that. <laughs> Yes, we are survivors, not victims. I agree, Faye. I'm very careful to say survivors and not victims. I'm not sure if maybe I made a mistake. Uh, if someone feels the need to correct me, I understand. But uh, I do try to make a point to say survivors, not victims. Very much so. Hi, Patricia. Oh, I know. No, I didn't mean you were correcting me, Faye. I just wasn't sure because I'm certainly subject to putting my foot in my mouth or saying the wrong things. And I, you know, I talk live for the 30 minute podcast every day. And at any given time, I could say something that I may have said incorrectly. So, and I don't, and as I'm talking, I don't always know what I said you know, the next sentence down. So uh, I, I'm certainly capable of making mistakes. So it's, I didn't think you were correcting me. It just reminded me to reiterate that, that I do appreciate the difference in terminology. Okay, so my next question to all of you is regarding Be So Caring book, what video would you like to see me work on next? Because I am going to work my way through the book and get all of the projects, get a little um, 
tutorial video to get you started on each of them. So we could work on the Dora hat and blanket. We could do some tips and tricks on that one to get you started. Or the Stevie kimono wrap top and drawstring pants. Or we could work on the Charlie hoodie. Or we could work on, we did the Mary Jane shawl and the Riley cowl. Then the other choice would be to work on I missed it. Here we go. The Taylor hat. So which would you prefer to see um, a little extra supplemental tutorial video on? Wow. The Taylor hat is the is definitely the winner. Okay. I think it's unanimous. <laughs> I don't often see unanimous uh when I ask for suggestions, I don't often see unanimous replies like this. This is incredible. All right, we will definitely do uh, we will definitely do the hat next. Absolutely. So I'll show you some tips and tricks for uh, getting started at the beginning and then how to recognize the different stitches for the stitch pattern along the walls as well. <laughs> so I think the I think the um, I think what's important to realize on that hat is that recognizing what the stitches look like and where you're looking for the stitch is important. So we'll be talking about how to recognize what where you need to go just as much as doing the stitches. So I think that that supplemental video will be very helpful for following along with the pattern and the charts. There's charts for all parts of the pattern as well. And the pattern comes in lots of sizes too, so you can make it for anybody. Okay, if anybody has any other questions, let me know now. And I hope everybody's going to have some good crafty stuff to do this weekend. I have a couple more patterns to, a couple more samples to finish making for the hat book. Don't know if I'll get finished with that this weekend, but I might. I just finished a gorgeous cable hat for the pat for the book. It's so pretty. Uh, and I did it in Be So Cozy yarn. Very cute hat. I kind of want to wear it like now since it's chilly here, but I know I've got to finish. I got to finish stuff first. Ah, Pamela's working on the poppy scarf. That's great. Rennie's working on her sixth Giada shawl. That's the other thing. I want to work on that for that dress. I want to do that as the edging. Uh, but I'm also thinking that that edging from the Giada shawl would really make a beautiful yoke for uh, a top, a lace top too. What color is the hat that I just made? I made it in color Orchid and Aqua in uh, Be So Cozy yarn. And I believe it's the 20th or 21st pattern. So um, I have 24 total to make. So I'm definitely in the home stretch of the actual crocheting of the samples. Yeah, good job, Rennie. Sixth Giada shawl. That's wonderful. Yes, Wendy, I released the, uh, I made a little mini announcement the other day that book 20 is going to be a crochet hat book. Yeah, so that edging, where is that shawl? So in addition to this edging being gorgeous for a hem on a skirt, can you imagine it as the yoke on a sweater? Like, oh my gosh, how pretty would that be? So I'm thinking that this might be a really pretty yoke on a sweater too. So I don't know, I got a lot to think about. <laughs> got to figure out which direction to go in next. Uh, Christine, I keep saying we. Uh, yes, I have I have helpers sometimes. Yes, I do have part-time helpers that help wind yarn. Yep. And I have part and sometimes they help me in assembling the be so helpful bags. Like we have to roll up the towels and um, secure them with the ribbon. Sometimes I have them help me label the soaps. We put the labels on the soaps and sometimes we wind yarn. Uh, so yeah, I have a couple pe couple of Marlin's friends that come over and help me a couple hours, a couple days a week. That's correct. Oh, Pamela, that's sweet. Thank you. Oh, 
All right, well, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the show and tell, chatting with me and everyone else. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody. A great weekend, and I'll see you Monday, same time, same place. Bye-bye.